Hey, pardon me for asking, but who's that little old man? Uh, what little old man? That little old man. Oh, that one, that's my grandfather. Your grandfather? Yeah. That's not your grandfather. It is, you know. But I've seen your grandfather. He lives in your house. Oh, that's my other grandfather, but he's my grandfather as well. How do you reckon that one out? Well, everyone's entitled to two, aren't they? And it's my other one. We know that, but what's he doing here? Leave him alone, Lennon, or I'll tell him all the truth about you. You wouldn't. Oh, I would, though. It's your nose, you know. Fans are funny that way. They take a dislike to things. They'll pick on a nose. Oh, you pick on your nose. Look at I thought I was supposed to be getting a change of scenery, and so far I've been in a train and a room, and a car and a room, and a room and a room. Well, maybe that's all right for a bunch of powdered geegaws like you lot, but I'm feeling decidedly straight-jacketed. Souffle. I bet you're a great swimmer. Well, you got me here, so do your worst. Well, be God, I'll take one of you with me. I know your game. You mean to the toilet room, and then out come the rubber hoses. Parading the streets. Trailing your coat, bowling along, living. Hello, grandfather. Hello. He's a nice old man, isn't he? He's very clean. What a clean old man. Oh, he's very clean. Very clean, isn't he? Lord John McCartney, the millionaire Irish peer. Filthy rich, of course. Oh, I don't know. Uh, he looks quite clean to me. Clean, though, isn't he? So I explained to my mother, he was a very clean man. She's right. He's a villain, a real mixer, and it costs you a fortune in breach of promise cases. Get on. No, straight up. Well, I'm clean. Uh, no, Polly, don't mock the afflicted. Oh, come off it. It's only a joke. Ah, it may be a joke, but it's his nose. He can't help having a hideous great hooter. And the poor little head trembling under the weight of it. My turn. Bingo. Pa bingo, monsieur. Bongo. Uh, I'll take the little darlings anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Members and invited guests only. Ah, well, uh... Oh, yes. Ah, so you are a man after all. What's that mean? Do you think I haven't noticed? Do you think I wasn't aware of the drift? And you poor unfortunate scrub. They've driven you into books with our cruel, unnatural treatment. Watch out for your brisket. They seem all right to me. Ah, uh, sure, that's what I want you to think. All coppers are villains. Would you two like a cup of tea? You see? Sly villain. It's my considered opinion that you're a bunch of sissies. Well, at least I've got a backlog of memories. All you've got is that book. And we're looking after him, are we? I look after myself. Bingo! Mr. McCartney, senior. Hey, Paulie, they're trying to fob you off with this musical charlatan. But I gave him the test. You ugly great brute. You have sadism stamped all over your bloated British kisser. Hey. I'll go on hunger strike. I know you're a caper. The kidney punch and the rabbit clout, the third degree and the size 12 boot ankle tap. Ring on me, old scout. So they've grabbed your leg for the iron too, have they? I'm not exactly a voluntary patient. Shh, shh, shh. Have they roughed you up yet? What? Oh, they're a desperate crew of drippings and their fists like matured hams for pounding poor defenseless lads like you. Quite right. Invites to gambling dens full of easy money and fast women. Chicken sandwiches and corn as a caviar. Disgusting. Any old where? But well, not her, little Richard. Oh, no. When you're not pumping them pagan skins, you're tormenting your eyes with that rubbish. Books are good. Parading's better. You see, you know your trouble. You should have gone west to America. You would have been a senior citizen of Boston. But you took a wrong turn in. What happened? You're a lonely old man from Liverpool. But I'm clean. Are you? One thing I've got to say to you, John Lennon. What? You're a swine, 